Good afternoon, SHS, and welcome back. I'm Mia Garcia. My name is Blake Cater. I'm Landon Southern. And I'm Ella Troop. And will everyone please join us for a moment of silence. And now Blake will lead us in the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. So, happy March. March is National Women's Month, so we will chronicle some influential women throughout our March announcements. Sweet. <laughs> Today is the last day to vote in 2022 primary election, which selects candidates for the November election. You have to already be registered in order to vote today. For more information on our voting <coughs> locations, please look online or ask a teacher. If you're 18 or older and you register to vote, ask go vote Coach so your, your vote's heard. I feel like Coach Harrington would know. Or Mr. Hamilton. Probably Mr. Hamilton. Yeah, he's smart. Yes, very. Weather will warm up this week and will eventually be pleasant into the high 70s. So weather is <coughs> going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. So oh, yes. yes. Great day for some baseball and softball. Speaking of, yeah. <laughs> baseball will play in the Cal Allen tournament, March third through fifth. Big game on Friday against Cal Allen. Be there. Thirty p.m. Cal Allen High School. Be there. Be loud. Make signs. Make signs. Go also, Justin who? Also, uh, Lady Pirate softball um, starts district today. They play West Oso at. It's only varsity. Varsity plays at five thirty. We're actually in a tournament. Thursday through Saturday in Corpus. I think tonight is parent night. It's not. Oh. They moved it. It's not parent night tonight. No. Uh -huh. Track competes Thursday in the Goliad relays. Run, throw, and jump as well. Um, oh, wait. Oh, my goodness. I so messed that up. Run, throw, and jump well, everyone. So go track. Also, our varsity tennis team is playing in the Tolosa Midway tennis tournament on Friday. Go tennis. And congratulations to well, Stinton High School's Academic Decathlon team. I'm on that team. I'm going to be bragging about us for a little bit. We went to state in Frisco February 25th through 27th, and we earned third place um, with, their, with our third place finish, and we totaled 52 medals. The team was awarded a bronze plaque, and each member received a $600 college scholarship. In addition, for the top overall scores, Megal earned Megal Patel earned a six hundred dollars scholarship. I earned a fifteen hundred dollars scholarship, and Will Hauser was the recipient of a two thousand dollars scholarship. Hard six thousand. Two thousand dollars scholarship individually, plus we each get six hundred dollars for the team scores. But I heard you say Megal got a six thousand. No. Oh. Six hundred. Okay, just clarifying. I thought I heard six hundred. Go yes. my bad. Go okay. Megal. We also took second place in the super quiz category. Uh, members are Ella Troop, Megal Patel, Pal Patel, Will Hauser, Adam Garcia, Stephanie Martinez, Amaris Fernandez, and Ashley Gonzalez alternates. Some individual results. I earned first in interview, second in math for the honors category. First, oh, you tied for second. Yes, I tied for second in math. Okay. First in much. economics, third music, second art, and team top honor score, second overall honors medal, and the $1,500 scholarship. Um, Megal earned first in speech, second in math. He tied me. Uh, fifth overall in honors medal and a $500 scholarship. Powell got second in speech, second in math, and then in the scholastic category, we'll earn second essay, second speech, first interview, first science, second econ, first music, first lang and lit, first art, first social science. And the team top scholastic score, as well as first overall <coughs> scholastic medal and 2000 scholarship. Adam Garcia in the scholastic category earned first speech. A Stephanie Martinez in the varsity, third econ, third music, third lang and lit. And then Amaris Fernandez, varsity, third math, first econ, third art, top team varsity score. And the coaches are Paul Brown, Cheyenne Garcia, I don't know her new last name, how to pronounce it. And where? 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 And Marty Garza. Okay. <clears throat> anywho. Anywho. Blake, you want to take that? Sure. And the following students received a top score of four on their base projects. Oria Munoz, <coughs> Pau Patel, Will Hauser, Emily Rivia, Mia Vigil, Ella Gomez, Mariah Zapata, um, and then Oria Munoz and Will Hauser made a perfect 60 on some of their artwork. 
Wow. Well, Hauser is advancing the state, so Okay, William. Go, Good job. Also, just a reminder that all juniors will be taking the SAT test tomorrow at 8 a.m. March 2nd on the high school campus. The purpose of the SAT is to measure a high school student's readiness for college and provide colleges with one common data point that can be used to compare all applicants. Doing well in the SAT helps you get more scholarship money and also improves your uh, chances of getting into the college that you want to attend. Did you know that if you score high enough, it can count for your TSI? Juniors, it is important that you do your best and special thanks to Gear Up for getting us the, resource to, the resources to take this test. I didn't also, need that. Did you need that? What? To get in? The SAT? It, it, yeah. Not this year, but in the years coming, probably you'll need it. Oh. Um, prom is going to be Saturday, March 26th. The theme is Masquerade. Get a dress. More info will be coming. Tux, whatever. Fifteen dollars a ticket. You should get a sparkly ticket. tux. You should get like a hot pink or something. Okay. And don't forget about our weekly club meetings, of course. If you're supposed to be like there, be there. Um, as we are the two year anniversary of COVID turning our world upside down, it is still with us, so wash your hands, wear a mask, social distance, do whatever you need to do to stay safe. And the Battle of the Alamo, we're still doing like the cool on day by day, day type stuff. Do you even know what the Alamo is? I do. It's in San Antonio. Is that all you know? No. That's where they fought. Like. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Anyways. Um, the Battle of the Alamo was on its seventh of 13 days on this day in 1836. Um, 1836 was a leap year, so the seventh day of the siege fell on February 29th. Since there is no February 29th in 2022, we're sharing a double dose of history today. Um, February 29th, 1836 was the seventh day of the siege. Santa Ana sends troops towards Goliad to intercept Texan reinforcements reportedly being brought by Fan Fanon. Fanon. Mm -hmm. Mexican troops are also positioned east of the Alamo, completing the encirclement of the besieged, besieged I can read sure besieged garrison. <laughs> Evidence indicates an informal truce completed today may allow some civilians inside the Alamo to leave. Go for it. Mm -hmm. um, any trivia? Anything? Mm. No? Okay. As, anything. okay. As always, we'll end things off with the thought of the day. <clears throat> Never regret a day in your life. Good days give happiness. Bad days give experience. Worst days give lessons. And best days give memories. Basically, what it says. Yeah. 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 So I'd like to explain this one a little bit. Um, live right. life to the fullest. Go hang out with your family. As always, thank you everyone for watching, and we hope y'all have a. It's Tuesday. Thrashing Tuesday. No, that's Thursday. Theropolis. Two. Two. Okay, everybody, have a good day. Go Pirates. Yes, go, go Pirates. pirates.